see I'm cutting up this sirloin to wash my hands again. Of course, I have already thoroughly washed my hands. But after um, cutting up and handling the raw meat, I needed to wash them again. So y'all wash your hands when you're in the kitchen and when you're cooking. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands, cause that's just nasty. So today, we're gonna make this crock pot pepper steak. You guys, it's one of those dreary days. We are starting to experience a little bit of the tropical storm Debbie. I need her to go on on back out to see. How about that? But it's, it's a rainy day. Um, I think tomorrow may be even worse. So we're going to do something quick and easy today. We're going to do this crock pot meal. I don't do a whole lot of crock pot meals. I think a lot of times when I do things, I try to make things that everybody can do and not everybody has a crock pot. I think a lot of people do, but you know, there are some people who really don't have crock pots and you could, I'm sure you could do this as well in your oven, but we are going to do the crock pot today. So I have made some adjustments to my recipe so that's what I'm looking at over here but again we're going to do this crock pot pepper steak and I'm starting off with about not quite two pounds of a beef sirloin it was thinly cut and then I cut it in the little strips as you saw me doing okay for those that don't like to look at raw meat you're probably saying Ugh. Okay, if you're, if you're part of the family, <laughs> then you already know. My husband, dude number one, a.k.a. my husband, whenever I do certain meals, we like gravies. You know, we like it gravy and saucy and we don't like dry meat. So, I'm going to do a couple of things different because I want to um, make sure he has some type of gravy because I know he's going to want some rice. All right. Okay. So let me start by let me get this meat. I'm going to put the meat in first so I can just kind of get it out of my way. Told y'all I need some more. I need some more countertop space, y'all. Okay. And I've already turned on my crock pot, okay? So all we're doing now is just putting this in, making sure all the pieces are separated. And then I can get this little um my little what you call it? My little plastic cutting board, if you will. silicone I can get it out of the way all right and free up some counter space so we're just adding this to the crock pot in the meantime I certainly pray that those of you that um, tropical storm Debbie has already moved through your state your city I pray that everybody is safe and everybody is well. Okay. That's that. Now this is going to be easy peasy. All right. Okay, okay. Now we can get rid of this. Huh. So now it's just going to be a simple matter of kind of dumping everything else 
in there. Let's see. Be stable. So this is what we're working with. I have this is a large onion, sweet peppers, the red and the yellow, and then the green bell pepper. As it pertains to your vegetables, whatever you want to do, however much you want to add, is totally left up to you. So this is, like I say, one large onion and about half of each of the red, green, and yellow peppers. Okay? And then we'll be using about, about a tablespoon of some minced garlic. And here I have made me some beef broth. I just put some warm water in here. It's two cups. I have some warm water. And then I added my Better Than Bouillon roasted beef base. Y'all, I love Better Than Bouillon. And I also like making my own broth because, in my opinion, the broths, when I have bought them in times past in the box, they just don't have enough flavor for me, okay? So you can make this um, as flavorful as you like. Be mindful, it can, because it's concentrated, it can be a little salty. Um, it's saying dissolve one teaspoon in eight ounces of water. It says it's all one teaspoon, which is equal to one bouillon cube, roasted beef base, and eight ounces of, uh, it says boiling water. My water was hot. But again, you can make it as, you know, strong, if you will, or a little milder. So just be mindful of that. Then we're going to add a little ginger. I'm not going to measure. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle, so maybe about a teaspoon of ginger. We're going to add maybe about a fourth cup of this soy sauce. Be mindful because soy sauce can be salty too. And then I'm going to add this one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm going to add the, the tomatoes, the juice, and everything. And then I want to add a can of cream of celery soup. Again, I'm trying to make a little bit of a gravy that way. You know, we have some to go over my husband's rice. You will notice that the cans are wet, especially this one. That's because I have thoroughly washed off the top of these cans. You all wash off the top of these nasty cans. They are so nasty. So many germs. They've been on the back of those tractor trailer trucks and warehouses and the grocery stores. People have handled them and put their hands, nasty hands all over them. You have all of the little insects and rodents and stuff that's in the warehouses or wherever that's crawled all over them and they've licked all on them and probably done some other stuff on the top of these cans. Y'all get the picture. You understand what I'm saying? They are nasty. Please wash them off. Hot, soapy water. Okay. All right. Now, um, I started to do make a slurry, like with some cornstarch or um, some flour. But then I thought, let me look and see if I have a pack of brown gravy. I do not. But I had this. And so I'm going to add it. It's a slow cooker hearty beef stew. And it has a lot of herbs and spices in it. I'm just going to add that. Y'all, this is literally what I do and most cooks do. When we're in the kitchen, we just grab stuff that we feel like will work and do our own thing. So this right here, because it's in a powder form, it'll take the place of me doing a slurry or adding the um, flour or cornstarch. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this plus the cream of celery. It's going to help thicken a little bit as well. Okay. Now, I already, like I said, have my crock pot on high. And we're just going to add everything um, to the crock pot. I think what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to start by pouring. Let's see. I'm going to pour most of this in here. But then I'm going to leave a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I want to go on and add my 
party beef stew mix to it and I want to kind of mix it up a little bit. Just to kind of make sure I get some of the lumps out of here. Make sure I get everything else. Listen, lady, don't be slinging it everywhere. And add some of this soy sauce. Like I said, maybe about a, a fourth of a cup. Just trying to kind of eyeball it. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our ginger. We're going to put in our minced garlic. And like I said, I'm just putting everything in this little measuring cup. That way I can kind of Get it mixed up well so it'll be evenly distributed. Now let's see. I think I want to see if I can get this cream celery in here. At least. Let's see. Maybe we can get most of it. If not all of it. certainly going to help create a little thickness. So again, we'll have some gravy. Okay, and then Lord, I almost forgot my... I need some pepper. I need some pepper. Let me open up this other end. Add some pepper. Can't make it too hot. Tomatoes, and we won't be able to get all of those in here. So I'm going to go in and put the rest of these. tomatoes around a little bit and then our mixture here I'm going to add a little bit of water to this Dishcloth. There it is. 
I'm adding a little bit of water to get the rest of this gravy out of here. Make sure I get everything out. As much as possible. Just gonna add all of our vegetables on the top. And that's it, you guys. Let me sprinkle a little bit more pepper just because I want to see it. Just a little bit on the top. Okay. Okay, okay. So now we are going to cover. Like I said, crock pot is set on high. And I know I'm going to let this just slow cook all day for about eight hours. I'm going to try my best not to open the lid and peep at it. I'm going to try. Okay. I'm going to try. So, I'll see you all this evening once this is done. Restaurants, they don't give you no buffet style plate, they give you a little small plate like that, and you're supposed to pay a hundred million dollars for the little small plate like that. But I yeah. still need to plate it up. I don't need to put some rice. But I have to plate it, babe. You want to know, babe, it has to be on a bigger plate. Get that one right Why there. That be on? Because I have to do my thumbnail. The top, the top, the top. The top. See, when you go to high-end restaurants, you, 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 this what you, you can do. taste it in the meantime, but... What's the matter? Oh, yeah, just put... Maybe I have to plug it in. What? Okay. I'm sorry, is this what you want the thumbnail to be? No, I want the thumbnail to be some rice on Okay, it. well, I can't do the little bowl, baby. I have to hold that. You can taste that while you add it. Looking like behind me. I'm, I'm tasting to see. It, it, this just looked like one of these dishes that's supposed to be spicy. Mm -hmm. 
It's not, baby. They I know you were seeing the peppers. I know, I know, peppers. I know, but I'm telling you, the mind play tricks well, on me. But don't let your mind play tricks. Mine ain't playing tricks on my tongue. Is it spicy? Mm -mm. Okay. Try not to spill it out. Let's see, y'all. It's hard. Okay, that's better. You can see it better like that. Mm. You like it? So delicious. <laughs> That's one of these romantic meals. Give me some more. He's, he's a it's so delicious. Okay. So now I can put the rice back in there. I just had to get a thumbnail. Mm. I guess I'll taste a little bit off this plate. Is this pepper steak? Yes. How do you know? Because it looks like pepper steak. Oh, for real? What pepper mm. steak look like? It little chopped up steaks? It tells you what, that's exactly what it is. Mm. Good. You like it? I do. I do. I so do. I so do. I see, I was making extra. Uh, what are you making extra for? No, I was going to say I was making extra sauce because you know you like gravy. I do. Because you, I may have made, you this right I may have made too much gravy. What, what you going to do with this? Oh, I'm going to hit making a mess. What I'm doing, what, baby? Can I taste it? Um, Is, can I taste it? See, gravy, gravy thickens up. As it sits. Yes, yeah, as it sits, it get thicker. Yeah, it's still a little warm. You gonna finish this on this plate, baby? You about to know it. What do you mean, am I? Am I? I just want to make sure you know I can't stay on a messy looking plate. Let me taste it. I, I, did you mix your rice all up in I there? I mixed it all in there, baby. Let me taste it. Do you need some more rice on here? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I Probably. mixed it up to get a look. You need more rice in there? Man, it? I mixed that food up like a two gangs fighting. It was all like mixed up. Like what? Two gangs fighting. Let me tell you something. You need a biscuit. You gotta sop this stuff up. I mean, you look at this. Some in you there. gotta get a biscuit and sop. You just this is when you just mm -hmm. throw the biscuit on the plate and let it just pull in all of the juices. You know when your biscuit look like it's sit there before you swell up. Go in. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That calls for. I have some that calls right there for bread. That's just begging for a biscuit. Throw it on top. Let it catch all of the excess where it won't run off your plate. And then what you do is you take the biscuit and go in. I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay, I don't have any biscuits, baby. I think we have some rolls. Let me get some rolls. Let me get some rolls. Take your rolls, baby. Take your rolls. Okay, what's this right here? Oh, that's your croissant. Yeah, I'll croissant. Okay, we'll do anyway. Then we can let the family go, though. No, you don't have to go. They can eat with me. They probably don't want to eat with you. You don't want none? You don't want none? What you doing? I don't want, okay. Huh? Okay, you guys. Well, I guess I need to get him some bread so he can sop up all that gravy. Right? Let's see what else we're going to eat with it. Wait. All right, you guys, listen. That's the, uh, the crock pot pepper steak. Easy peasy kind of reminds me of just like one of those dump recipes where you just dump everything in there. Turn it on high and go on about your day. I'm gonna text the fellas and let them know I got y'all tomorrow, everybody. Let's see, like all that food out. He'll, he'll take over half of the work. All right, you guys, listen. This was the same day. I did the Kit Kat pound cake. So, same day. I've been busy today, you all. This was the same day. I ate the Kit Kat pound cake. <laughs> you, you done, babe? Mm -hmm. All right, listen, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. By hitting the nose. And that's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified. Like I say, if you don't want that much gravy, then, you know, back off of the broth. Don't do as much. Okay. So. See, here's the problem. I'm going to eat this last bit. Look what's left on that plate. Well, they say that. You can, I'm going to fish some rolls, okay? Does that sound like a plan? All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I just turned the oven on the preheat for the rolls. Okay. We already look <laughs> forward.
forward to you joining us again. Where you at, baby? Next time. Bye.